Good morning everyone and welcome to the first ever MCCI News Catch-Up Session. Today we are joined by MCCI CEO Anna Marth Ott and she's here to tell us what we've been cooking up at the Chamber. Good morning uh, business people and community at large. I am just going to report on what has happened the last month. What we did was we did finalize all the corporate governance re requirements within the Chamber. So all the AGMs have been done, all the audits are completed and um, all the elections have been done and all the officials are now um, elected and uh, inducted and we're right, ready to run for, for the year. Then on the lobbying side, what we are working with together with the municipality is the City Improvement District program. We are working on some of the bylaws that need to be changed to make sure that we meet all the legislative requirements as well as developing the database of the property owners of the area. So look out for your email. If you have not received one yet, please contact the office. We would like to have your details and your input within the whole city improvement project will be very important. Then on the local economic development side, myself and Eugene Rousseau have been meeting with the municipality several times this last month and we are working towards specific projects and programs with the municipality to ensure our economic growth. On the BITS business services center side, we have finalized the first 107 phase one. We're just waiting for BITS and then we will start with the training. We will get your notice soon when we will be starting. And the other 143, we have them all enrolled and we're also waiting for the final go ahead to get us the dates for the people that will be trained. That means 250 students within the Mukumalanga province will again be sponsored through the services CETA by Murubu Chamber for management training by Bits Business School, which I think is a fantastic service that we actually give to our business community. Then our business guide is finished and we need to actually print the new edition. So we will be contacting our members as well as other businesses to participate in the project. We use the business guide to actually promote our area and we also have the business guide on our website. But we do have, like to have a couple of printed issues as well. There's nothing like a physical example of what is actually happening in our town. And one of our lobbying that we've been doing since 2017 is to say to Eskom and the government, do not close down Kumati Power Station and Indrina Power Station, but repurpose them. And we have had a couple of discussions with some government organizations regarding that this month. And so for us, that is uh, an ongoing lobbying. Uh, we don't want to be uh, a ghost area. We want to continue being the industrial heart of the province. Then lastly, um, and this is thanks to Sandy next to me, we have our golf day next week and we fully booked. So that is a fantastic situation to be in. Last year we did a virtual golf day um, and it was a great success. But this year we're back to normal, having a great, fun, physical day where everybody can meet and network. So see you guys next month. Thank you. Bye. Contact us for any more information at info at middleburginfo.com.